people hide it and close their hearts to the reality of the situation. A poet once said, لا دار للمرء بعد الموت يسكنها إلا التي كان قبل الموت يبنيها. He said that there is no home and no castle for a person in after he dies except the castle and the home or the place that he was building before he died. That's the only place that he's going to be going to. فَإِنْ بَنَاهَا بِخَيْرٍ طَابَ مَسْكَنُهُ That if he builds it with khair, with good deeds, then the beauty and the architecture of that castle, inshaAllah, will be beautiful. وَإِنْ بَنَاهَا بِشَرٍ خَابَ بَانِيهَا that, and if he builds it with, with uh, sins and the disobedience of Allah, it's not the architecture that's going to be me- messed up and looking not so nice. Khaba baniha. The person who tried building it is going to be in trouble. Dear brothers and sisters, with all, and you can go on and on of the blessings for the people in Jannah, but there's one blessing that goes above all the blessings. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when the people who are going to fire enter fire, and when the people are going to gender enter Jannah, and then it's closed, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls them, and then they all come, and then they say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, هَلْ مِنْ شَيْءٍ أَزِيدُكُمْ Is there anything else that I can increase you in? Now you're looking at Jannah, and everything that the person wants is there in Jannah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, what more do you want? Is there anything more that you want? And then they'll say, Ya Rabbana. They'll say, Oh our Lord, Alam tubayyib wujuhana. Didn't you make our faces illuminate? Alam tunqidna min al nar. Didn't you save us from hellfire? Alam tudkhilna jannah. Didn't you enter us into jannah? What more could we ask it for? And then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Fayakshifu an al hijab. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uncover the veil between himself subhanahu wa ta'ala and the people of Jannah. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that there will be nothing in Jannah more beloved to them than seeing the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Jannah. The reward of faith is to see the reward of, of believing in the unseen is to see that on the day of judgment. You believed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the dunya, even though you didn't see Him. And then the reward on the day of judgment is to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, the faces on that day will be illuminated ila rabbiha nazira, looking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Jannah. Dear brothers and sisters, do we really want this Jannah? Do we really want to be near Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Do we want to stand beside Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and have on our left and right Abu Bakr and Umar and Uthman and Ali? Do we want to be with Abu Hanifa inshallah and Imam Malik and Imam Shafi'i and Imam Ahmad? Do we want to be with these people? Are these the people we love? Do we want to be with Khadija and Aisha and Fatima? Or who do we want to be with? Our hadith we said was al maru ma min ahab The companions, they were scared because they knew the Prophet ﷺ was better than them. And they knew there were certain companions that had a higher position. They said, Ya Rasulullah, they said, will we see you on the day of judgment when you enter into the high places? The Prophet ﷺ told them, and this was the most beloved hadith to them, al maru ma min ahab He said, you will be with whom you love on the day of judgment. If you don't love the Prophet ﷺ like you love things on television and you shun away this when you don't know anything about these people, then do we truly love them in our hearts? Do we truly want to be with them, inshaAllah ta'ala, in Jannah? Dear brothers and sisters, it's something small and you may ask, how do I work for this Jannah? And how do I work for it? And I tell you, inshaAllah ta'ala, and hopefully only, if only a few, a small percentage of us here do this, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshaAllah, will be happy. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is more happy than any human being with the tawbah of his slave. When the, when the tawbah, when he repents to him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is most happy with that, with that servant. And if the person comes puts his hand out, Allah puts his arm out, and when the person comes walking, Allah comes running. I tell you, dear brothers and sisters, let's make a pledge to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not a pledge with money, but a pledge of your time. If someone had an airplane flight in the morning, and he was leaving at 5, he would put his alarm on at 3 o'clock, so he wouldn't miss that airplane flight. 
And if a person and some of uh, the children here will know that if there's Saturday morning cartoons, that they'll wake up early in the morning to turn on the television to watch those cartoons in the morning. But I tell you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes down not only in Laylatul Qadr and not only in Ramadan, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes down every single night in the last third portion of the night and says هَلْ مِنْ دَاعٍ فَأَسْتَجِيبُ لَهُ Is there anybody who's going to make dua? So I'll answer his dua. هَلْ مِنْ مُسْتَغْفِرٍ فَأَغْفِرُ لَهُ Is there anyone who's going to do istighfar, ask for forgiveness so that I would forgive that person? I tell you dear brothers and sisters, let's put our alarms on just one day. Just put it at 2 o'clock in the morning or 3 o'clock in the morning. Put your alarm on and wake up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to pray only two rak'ahs, only two, and you can go back to sleep after that and wake up for fajr. Two rak'ahs, and in sajda, think of one sin, just one that's standing between you and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and ask Allah to forgive you for that sin. May we all do this. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us for that one sin, and promise that we're not going to go back to that sin after we get up from that sajda. Promise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and inshaAllah, Allah will forgive you and Allah will be happy with you. Inshaallah. And when you're there and your face is on the floor to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you can remember your brothers in Palestine. And believe me, that dua will come very high to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you remember everything, the sadnesses of your dunya, that's where you ask for the mercy 